What's up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video. Now this one is our boy DSP still ranting and raving after his Street Fighter stream last night where he was utterly destroyed and embarrassed. He decided he needed to take the daily rap just to complain some more about how everyone is cheating on Street Fighter but him. And we all know that our boy is just a terrible, sucky ass player. So let's hear the cope. And maybe, maybe we might hear some white run. Let's get into it. Hello, everybody. It's Dark Side Phil. I need that money to pay my bills. The electric bill, the internet bill. Stupid fucking trolls, man. I just want to chill. I rock back and forth on the X and Y axis. Hit me. So I could catch up on that. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Friday, the 19th of August, 2022, my day back from break uh, of an eventful day, a day fun and full of gaming content, <clears throat> and also updates and announcements. If you missed my Level 1 podcast from this morning, I strongly recommend you watch it for many different things, you know, getting you caught up on everything that happened on my day off, letting you know what's happening on the marathon tomorrow, um, and giant segment about... Uh, basically the original creator of this is how you don't play trying to pull a fast one and feeling miserably embarrassing himself all over the internet in the process it i'm telling you now if you stream that rip copy of evil aj's playthrough right if you play that you're breaking terms of service in two different ways one you don't have any permission and it's a private video and two you're streaming an illegal rip of a video of someone on YouTube, which is a no-no. So if you do it, you're gonna get slammed with uh, strikes on your channel while you're streaming, and you're gonna get reported. FYI. It basically, you gotta watch the show. There's a lot to cover. I don't really wanna reiterate it here. Um, but yeah, it was informative. Talked all about my day off and everything, some updates in regards to the- uh, It wasn't informative. It was him ranting and raving. streams will be moving forward. Then on the first stream today, by the way, big ups to old man Phil. Which you guys voted for, um, played for about three hours. The whole first hour was a tribute to John Madden, uh, game with all these like all pro, you know, uh, players from history, Hall of Famers, and the like from all different time periods <clears throat> on the same teams, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and then after that, started up the I don't even know what it's called. I would say, oh, it's Road to the Show, but it's not. That would be MLB, right? Whatever it's called in this one. It's the career mode where you create your own character and uh, you attempt to play through their career. And so in all in all, it was about an hour and a half of each. Um, I had a good time. I'll tell you, I was blown away by the graphics. Uh, gameplay, not so much. It basically plays like Madden. I don't know what else to say about that. It feels like the same game again. But, you know, graphic-wise, damn, it looks really good. Like, almost photorealistic at this point. The animations are all smooth and fluid. Um... So I had a good time with it, but, and by the way, support was outstanding. So thank you to anyone who showed up and supported the stream, but I'm not convinced that I'm going to do anything but the trial. The trial is 10 hours long so far. I'm about three hours into it. We've got about another. Yeah. You're not going to pay 70 bucks for a game. You're way too cheap for that. Six, seven hours left in it. I am not convinced that I would want to spend any more than that in the game and spend a dollar on it. Seriously. It, it, so it's exactly like Madden. Um, <clears throat> the late stream tonight, Friday night fights. The good news is we got way more matches than I expected. The bad news is, I hate to say it, literally the only people left playing are the tryhards. So if you don't know what a tryhard is, okay? Here's essentially what a tryhard is. And especially He's pig explaining tryhards. Other online games as well. A tryhard is someone who absolutely positively must win at whatever cost. It doesn't matter the quality of the combat or, or the competitiveness of the match. All of that's off the table doesn't matter if it's a good match or a bad, if it's fun, if it's challenging, if it's a high skill level. Don't care. Just need the win. <clears throat> okay? That would be you, Pimp. You so cry and I complain mean, every time you lose. Essentially, the only people left playing this game are people who have found really abusable tactics in it. For example, you're playing Hyper Street Fighter 2, and you pick a character that already is kind of overpowered, like a Championship Edition Guile, for example. And then you purposely make your internet connection worse by doing other things on the internet in your home so that it's already kind of choppy. Since the game uses rollback netcode, it basically breaks the game. It makes it so that 
the 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 netcode has to assume very he's he's literally making this shit up you an unfair advantage playing a certain way or for example there's one honda player that literally sits there and uses a turbo controller to do instant hundred hand slaps which you should not be able to do in competitive play and just break through everything in the game it's insanely broken and not allowed in tournaments you can't use a tournament control or a, a turbo controller in a tournament that's on purpose you know you have to have the skill to be able to pull it off from a man that uses a whatever it is hori joystick to give him a competitive match where he can assign combos by just pressing one button he has the nerve to complain that someone is using some type of joystick are you kidding me now by the way there were some matches that were quite good i fought a couple people in dark stalkers doing stuff that i didn't do <clears throat> but sadly i hate to say for the most part the vast majority of, of games that I played tonight was Hyper Street Fighter 2 and was just people abusing bad lag that they were artificially creating. On top of that, every of time he lost, which was a lot. Come out here and rage quit before the match will end so you don't get credit for the win. That's what's left. And what's funny is over all these years that I've played console old school Street Fighter 2, people say, why don't you just play Fightcade on your PC? Do you want to know why? I urge you to watch tonight's session of the Capcom Fighting Collection if you want the answer. What you saw tonight is the prime example of what you see the vast majority of the time you play on Fightcade, because Fightcade's been running on rollback netcode way before the console games were. People who by any means necessary, they don't care if it's fair, if it's cheating, if it's competitive, no, fuck it. Even if it's a scrub ass mashing match, as long as they get the win and they get the ranking points. <clears throat> And I say Sounds it, like it you, Phil. Tonight, usually playing that level of competition, I have fun. I'll be honest, probably about 60 to 70 percent of tonight, I wasn't having fun because it's just it's not even the real game. It's oh, I created an artificial atmosphere. Shockingly, so you lost 70 percent of the time. Environment. It would be, for example, you go to a professional basketball game. Oh, but just for this game, we're playing underwater. Wait, what? But that's not the rules of real basketball. Doesn't matter. For this game, we're playing underwater. Okay. Okay, here's Phil over exaggerating his point. He's talking about playing basketball underwater. Come on now. How are you comparing the two? This is a man that uses a hoary joystick, which you can assign combos to just hitting by one button, which we know he does. And it gives you a competitive advantage, and he's been using it for years. And he's complaining about people using other tactics. First of all, the whole lag net code crap is all bullshit no one that plays street fighter ever complains about that or says that second how the hell does he know if someone is artificially lagging their internet i'm not even sure how you would even do that but the other interesting thing is our boy phil would never show his internet connection he never shows what his ping is he never shows any of that he never shows what his fps is or any of that right but yet he knows exactly what his competition has. God, he's so, he's so salty. Oh, Lord. So you should adapt to the water playing, but that's the problem. With rollback, everyone picks a different character. Everyone finds a different abusable strategy. So that match was underwater. The next match, you're playing in Silly Putty. Oh, we're stuck. We're like Play-Doh, you know, moving stuck to the walls, stuck to everything. Gotta adapt to that. Oh, but by the way, you play a third player, and now the, the ground's slippery. You gotta adapt to that, too. But every match is a completely different experience. That's what it's like playing this game now with people who cheat. Every match is a little different. If they're picking Guile, they're abusing the fact that the game will give them the benefit of the doubt and give them a reversal when they really didn't time it right. Or they'll mash punch and get a throw. And they didn't earn it, they just mash the button with the lag that they created. This tells me one thing. This is a man that probably hasn't changed or bought new underwear in over 20 years. Because the man refuses to change. He refuses to change and adapt. And that's why they call him an old dinosaur. And that's the reason why old Phil is back on this video. But then you play a different character and it's a completely different, separate experience, which is equally bullshit. And there's no way to adapt to it at all, which is why these idiots have all the highest rankings and why probably most people dropped this collection. It's been two months, the collection's almost dead. These are the only morons playing against each other. There's like no skill left. It sucks because I was at one point playing a lot of people who were skilled a couple weeks ago. And tonight it was just like lag abuser, lag abuser, lag abuser, lag abuser. Like, damn. You know, you get to a point, it's exhausting that literally that's what's left. 
So within two months, it seems like already this collection is falling off and this is what's left, the remnants of shit, right? <clears throat> anyway, I do want to say thank you to those who did show up, who did engage in support, and who did actually enjoy the stream despite the fact that I was raging 80% of the time at lack of using assholes and the game wasn't fun to play for most of the time. All right? So, by the way, heads up, next week, Friday Night Fights is not on Friday, it's Saturday. Because Friday is my day off this week. I'm here for a seven-day streaming, okay? <clears throat> Tomorrow is the marathon. Starting at 10.45 a.m. Pacific time like usual, there'll be a level one podcast to start. And then the first half of the show is me reacting to the original This Is How You Don't Play video. The second half of the show is... And you're going to get a strike. I'm telling you now, pimp. Uh, I think you guys should watch because his uh, stream may get taken down. So let's hope. Anyway, I'm ending the video. I don't care what he does tomorrow. He's going to be boring. All right. So peace out. Have a great day.